Hola guys, how are y'all? I hope y'all are having a good evening. Um, it's the beginning of a three day weekend for most of us. And I wanted to come on and show you guys a few of the things that I have picked up throughout the week. You guys ever not realized how much stuff you've accumulated until you look around? Trust me. Uh, I think some of this stuff was from this past weekend. It had to have been because I have Walmart and Target bags. Um, so it definitely had to have been from this past weekend. I just forgot about them. Um, but yeah, I wanted to show you guys some stuff because uh, there are some movies in this little haul that I want to watch. Why is... Why is my surrounding, why is everything always so dreary and dark? Granted, all the tones in my room are browns and naturals and whatever, but, hmm. Anywho, I'm a little distracted. Y'all want to know why? If you guys follow me, not follow me, I hate to say that, follow me, like I'm some big to-do. If you and I are connected on Facebook, then you know Earlier this evening, I found out some bad news uh, about my favorite, well, one of my favorite thrift stores. They are only going to be in the location that they are always, they have been at forever and ever until the end of this year. And then they're going to move and they're not sure where. So I'm sad. I, I, we pulled up and walked in and there was a notice on the door. Uh, letting us know that their lease is up and they're leaving and they don't know where they're going to go yet but that they want to remain in Dallas. You know how big Dallas is? It's friggin' huge, okay? That means they could end up potentially on the other side of me. And that just... You guys, I got sad. Like, I read it and at the very top it says Thrift Town is not going out of business. I'm like, what? What have I missed? What, where have I been? What what rock have I been under that I had no idea that people were even saying that Thrift Town was going to go out of town? Um, <laughs> Thrift Town was going to go out of business. So I freaked out a little and then continued to read and I'll post the picture up for those of you that didn't uh, 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 witness, share in my heartache earlier on Facebook. Uh, but yeah, I read it and all the joy seeped out of my body. I kid you not. I wanted to cry. That is how hardcore a thrifter I am. That is how much I love oh, Thrift Town. That is how much I love Thrift Town. Thrift Town and Goodwill are my go-tos. Now, if they up and decide to move my Goodwill, I'm just, I'm, 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 I'm not even going to know what to do with myself. But Thrift Town has been there longer than I've been shopping there. And I've been shopping there for 25 years. My very first thrift store purchase with my own money was at thrift town and i've been going for 25 years when i was 17 i made my first purchase i remember what it was it was a long sleeve white button down men's shirt and some cut off denim shorts uh the the long shirt i was going to wear tied up in a little knot around my waist uh with the sleeves cuffed with my little denim shorts because it was like the late 80s early 90s and I was going to be really cute on the weekends and then when I came home from my uh evening out in my little outfit I was going to untie the shirt and sleep in it I used to love to sleep in men's button downs I used to steal my brother's button downs all the time and uh it was very uh uh Demi Moore um St. Elmo's Fire ish uh, I saw her dress that way on St. Elmo's Fire in the scene where she's trying to like freeze herself. Um, and um, I just love the look of sleeping in a big man's shirt. So, blah, blah, blah. That was my very first purchase at Thrift Town was the button down shirt and some cut off denim shorts. And now they're threatening on moving. I wanted to cry. I'm not kidding. We walked in and anytime I go thrifting, I'm happy. Walked in, my stomach just dropped and I was like, I don't even want to be here. I don't want to look around. I don't want to buy anything. And then, 
as I'm looking around, they had the audacity to change the tags on me. Yes, the familiar tags that I have known forever and ever and ever are now this fancy little tag with, um, I don't even know what they're called. Those little, this is how non-techy I am. The little thingy that you scan with your phone. Wait, 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 y'all know what I'm talking about? Is this little, looks like a big giant barcode thingy. You scan it with your phone and I don't know what the heck it's supposed to do because I'm not techy, but that's what the tags look like now. I don't like it. I don't like change. It is hard for me to adapt to change and this is 25 years worth of the same old, same old, so it's really hard. But anywho, I was kind of in a funk. I really was, honestly. I was very, very sad. But I did walk out of there with a few little things. I had a $5 off a of 15 or more coupon. And I picked up these purple scrub bottoms uh, because I have a top that I have been trying to match forever and ever and ever. And I hope this is the right purple. If not, whatever. It's close enough. Uh, they were $3.99 and I was able to get them a size and a half smaller than usual. Um, what I'm about to show you next is the most expensive thing I picked up and I couldn't resist it. Uh, I made sure it was a little dude approved. It's this awesome little Cherokee sweater. So cute. Of course, I'm not going to button up and make them look like a turtle. But it was really, really cute. And it was the most expensive thing at $5.99. And I didn't find any color tag items, but it was okay. And this is still new. It still has the Cherokee taggy on it. Um, the price is ripped off. But um, it still has the Cherokee tag. And it's just so awesome. I think my little man is going to look so adorable in that. And then I found this cute stripety. Stripety? I know. I sound like I'm eight. This cute striped, oh, this is the offensive new tag. Look at that. No, leave it alone. Just leave my thrift tag alone. I kid you not, guys, I want to cry. Oh, my God, really? I do. But this is the tag I'm talking about. What is this called? Somebody, please. I'm sure I've heard it once or twice in my life, but I don't know what this little thing is called. I know you scan it with a phone, but whatever. That's the new tag. But this is a little shirt. I thought it was really cute. It's from Old Navy. Yeah, it's from Old Navy. Love the colors. It's different. And little dude liked it, so I grabbed it. And then the only other thing that I picked up there was this huge iron. It has to be iron because I can't just say metal. This sucker is heavy. Uh, frame for $1.99. And it goes with all the non-color in my room. So that's where it's going to be hope nobody drops that on themselves but that's everything that uh there's a hair clip in here is it mine yes it is um that's everything I picked up at the thrift store and <laughs> I was so upset that I almost decided I'm not going back but I know I'm full of hootie I know I'm going back sorry guys look how thin my hair is look at that Anywho, but it's getting on my nerves. Y'all have seen me worse. Okay. Um, I'm going to jump into some Dollar, some dollar Tree stuff. Uh, because I've been, apparently, a couple of times. And um, I grabbed some stuff. I grabbed these two books for my mom. I'm really upset, guys. I really am. I grabbed these two books from my mom. My mom likes to read um, self-help and health and that type of thing. Uh, this is 10 Simple Truths About Feeling Great, Staying Sexy, and Aging Agelessly. It's called Good Jeans by Miss Diane Gilman. I love her hair. Look at that hair. Oh, the color, the, the poof of it all. Anywho, Oswald's back there. Uh, my mom got a kick out of the um, the title. She's like, I'm 72. What do I know about sexy and aging agelessly? But uh, she's still going to read it. And I got 20 years younger. And again, my mom, adorable. I'd still be 52. But she's going to read it. 20 years younger. Look younger, feel younger, be younger. Bob Green. And there's diets in here. Diets. There are recipes in here. Uh, they break it down by calories and 
and and and uh, if you're trying to watch your cholesterol, if you're trying to watch certain things in your diet uh, for health, so I'm especially rambly today. I'm even aware of it. So sorry for those of you who still lovingly watch me, even though I da 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 da. I'm very aware today. I found more of these Webkins guys. I little dude likes them, but I'm the one that is obsessed with them. Look, isn't he cute? He's a little froggy. He's so adorable. And this one about blew my mind. I have not seen anything this awesome and amazing in the Webkins selections at all the Dollar Trees I have been to. It is a lionfish. Isn't he gorgeous? He's so pretty. I loved him. Oh, goodness. Grab those two. Uh, and this is, these are different Dollar Trees on different days. But um, because I went a little Webkins crazy. And this is the first froggy I picked up. See how he's all hairy and gnarly? So he's kind of like, he's kind of like the heavy metal cousin to the jazz blues guy, you know? Ooh, aren't they cute? So cute. Ah, and Ozzy is trying to eat my lionfish. And then this one, I had not seen a lizard at any of my Dollar Trees. Uh, this is the Dollar Tree by my mom, and he was adorable, and he has a sparkly belly. And I'm telling you guys, I want these. I'm not sure what that's about, but I love a good stuffy. So cute. Uh, I grabbed the one bag of the Super Bubble Bubble Gum that I am having the hardest time finding at my Dollar Trees. And I usually buy this for my coworkers, but this is gonna be for us here. Because them guys, I've said it before, go through the gum, not the candy, because I have candy jars and lollipop jars in my office, but they go through the gum like in a day. And my kids love them dearly, but yeah, gum is not safe. And then I found uh, these, and I've seen these forever and ever and ever, but I haven't had a need for them. Um, and um, here lately, between Little Dude and me, uh, between mosquitoes, little dude's allergic to mosquitoes. That's the saliva, blah, blah, blah. There's a whole medical explanation behind why he ends up with goose eggs on his bite marks. But um, cool compresses help with the pain because they become very, very painful. And um, we got this little strawberry. I got the strawberry for me because I got attacked by ants uh, and get attacked by ants quite regularly while I'm out in the yard. So I got this strawberry for me. And look what we found for little dude. So cute. These little plastic gel beady uh, cold compresses. So, grabbed one of each. Uh, I grabbed a funnel because every time I try and pour in my windshield washer fluid or top off my brake fluid or any kind of fluid under my hood, I make a huge giant mess. And this is a little bendy, nozzly contraption with a filter. Why you have to filter any of those things? Why they would pour out with things in it? I don't know. Not only am I not techie, I'm not mechanical either. I picked up two of these because I couldn't find the tall one and I needed a new little container for all those cute little clips I've been purchasing at the Dollar Tree. I couldn't find the tall one at the Dollar Tree I was at so I picked up two of them. My Suavitel, and these have been smelling so delicious for the last few days. My Suavitel um, dryer sheets. I found these adorable sunglasses with this little seafoam green uh, ear bit and these cute little flower punch out designs. Big old aviators. Y'all want to see me model them? They're dusty, it's all good out. I feel like Maverick. Is it Maverick from Top Gun? Whoever. I like them. They're so pretty. <sighs> A buck. Duh, right? Dog tree. I got another one of these eyeglass little uh, chainy things. 
I love the color. That's my birthstone. My birthstone is Peridot. And I love that color. So grab that. And then, I've never seen these. I don't know if they've been there before or not. But, and I have no use for it. But, it's a book. It's a foldable camping knife. I don't camp. Uh, but I'm sure I can find some kind of use for it. So, I grabbed it. I thought a dollar was pretty good. It may fall apart the minute I try and close it. I don't know. But, um, is that it? Nope, I have one more little bag of DT. And then I went to another Dollar Tree and I found the big one. So, I now have the big Mama Jamma and two little babies. So, who knows which I'll end up not using or giving away or whatever, but got the big one. Little dudes, lips, and my skin. Any little change in the weather and we snap, crackle, and pop, literally. My thumbs are starting to do that horrible uh, cracky thing. I have not found a lotion that prevents that. Uh, and little dude's lips rip up bad. He currently has a slit right down the middle. And the only thing that I have found that works really fast and prevents it from getting that bad is the Blistex. I've been using chapstick on him for years, but this Blistex works really, really well. And we were out, pretty much out. And then I found the Palmer's Cocoa Butter Formula, and I figured I'll try it. Um, it's cocoa butter. We'll go ahead and try that, see if he likes it. And then the only two other little things that I picked up at the Dollar Tree, I've seen at all my Dollar Trees, and I had to just bite the bullet and get this little crow with a tinkle bell. Isn't he cute? And this little owl with a tinkle bell. They're going to go on my back porch uh, so I can hear them tinkling in the wind at night. Right, right back there. So that's everything I picked up at the Dollar Tree for my D-tiers. Uh, I also went to the 99 cent only and went a little crazy there. And I didn't mean to get the stuff that I'm about to show you, but I just said, oh, the heck with it. It's really, really cute. And why not? I'm going to end up buying it later anyway. So... It's Halloween themed. One of the first things I bought was this emoji mask. Little dude fell in love with it and we're gonna work a whole Halloween outfit around it. I'm thinking of putting him in a little suit with a briefcase and try and play up some kind of mad boss, bad boss, mean boss, jerk boss, horrible boss kind of thing. Maybe, not sure, but he loved it and had to have it. So we grabbed that little thing. I found this. I don't need it, but look at it. Look at this. Isn't that gorgeous? Lilac and silver. Beautiful. I fell in love. It is so awesome. Yes, this is a look, right? Yes, this is awesome. These are so friggin' pretty. And it's just a little plastic mask. They had so many of them. I wanted them in every color, but y'all know I'm not going to pass up a purple one. I have no idea what I'm going to do with it. I think I'm going to shadow box it. Honestly, I think I'm going to shadow box it because it's just too gorgeous for a buck, y'all. And I picked up these little crosses. Uh, it says, El amor es paciente, es bondadoso. El amor no tiene envidia. It's Corinthians 13, 4 in Spanish. Uh, and then, confía en el Señor con todo tu corazón. No te apoyes en tu propio entendimiento. Ooh, I need to, you know, sharpen up my Spanish. And this is from Proverbs 3, 5. I thought they were so pretty. I'm going to take these to work. I grabbed this adorable thing, the Sugar Skull uh, Sipper. This is for a friend. I have uh, two friends that are obsessed with skulls. They really, really like them, and I couldn't resist this. Uh, I'm not sure if the Sugar Skull falls into the whole skull thing, but it's awesome. It's a skull, okay? So I grabbed it. I also found these for my skull lover friend. These are awesome. 
And if I wasn't so OCD about my stuff having to coordinate, I'd probably buy the some for myself. But these little dish towels, aren't they awesome? I, would, I wouldn't want to use them. I got an orange one and a yellow one. So pretty for a buck. I mean, it was with the Halloween decor, but... I mean, if you like skulls, you like skulls, right? And then these, I couldn't resist. I had to get, get these. I had to, I had to, I had to. And these are also going to be for my skull lover friends. It's a tea light holder. Can you imagine what this thing looks like lit up? Amazing. It's the Hear No Evil. Oh, yes. Oh, goodness. Where do I put it? It's Hear No Evil. You see where I'm going with this? Speak no evil. And I don't want to break it. See no evil. So please don't let me drop these. My nails are getting really long. It's hard for me to maneuver stuff. Aren't they awesome? This kind of stuff is actually kind of creepy to me, but it's so they're awesome in their creepiness. They don't disturb me. They're just really freaking awesome, I think. And I think my friends are going to get a kick out of them. So I grabbed those. And um, I got out of the Halloween aisle real quick after that because I wanted everything in there. Um, I could have swore I bought... Oh, no, I took a picture of, of this beautiful turquoise uh, glitter mask. Uh, and I'm going to put pictures in uh, of the Halloween stuff for those of you Halloween junkies. Um, then the only other stuff that I picked up uh, randomly, and I honestly had forgotten about this, one of these things I'm taking back just because I'm cheap. This was at Walmart. Um, I was in the $3.74 bin, movie bin, and I found Sugar Hill. Late 80s, early 90s, Wesley Snipes and Wesley Snipes was all the rage. This dude in particular is an awesome actor. He, he is so intense. I don't, can't remember his name. But I remember this movie back in the day. I remember liking it. And it was 374. So, hey, I'm going to try and see if um, I still like it. Snipes takes total charge of the screen. One's a cop, one's a dope dealer. Brothers. Hmm. And then this is what I'm going to take back. Now, I should have known. If it sounds too good to be true, it is. I love Richard Pryor. This, and three of these four movies I really, really liked uh, growing up. And I couldn't believe there were three seventy-four, so I grabbed it and it rang up nine ninety-nine. I could have spent that ten dollars on something I really, really, really wanted. So this might go back. I'm not sure. I mean, I'll easily spend ten dollars on lunch. Um, and here I have four movies for it. I'm not sure. I just, it's not that I, it's not that I'm mad that I had to pay 10 bucks. I'm mad that it wasn't 374 like I expected it to be. It was a surprise that I don't, I didn't like. Does that make sense? So grab that. Um, I got a twofer on my favorite toothpaste. And then I couldn't resist these. And I don't care what y'all say. Some of y'all. Yes. Yes. 98 cents. 96 cents. Something cents. Little cowboy glasses. I pick some up every year. Got four of them. And that was everything that I got at Walmart. Went to Big Lots apparently. Oh yeah, I went to Big Lots with my sister. Y'all know me. Hope Springs. I had no idea this movie existed, but I love Tommy Lee and I love Meryl Streep. When I tell y'all I love Meryl Streep, she's right up there with my Sandra Bullock and my Shirley MacLaine. Oh my gosh, love her. Casualties of War, which I swore up and down I didn't have, but I do. It was only three bucks, so this is going to go into some kind of giveaway pile. This is where I leave. Uh, their dad dies and all four siblings who have been living apart from each other for quite a while end up having to come and live under the same roof while they settle their dead dad's affairs. Got really, really good reviews. So I grabbed that for five bucks. This is the most expensive one. And then Child of God and It Sounds Loose. I hate that because then you open it and it's all scratched up on the inside. 
Um, this man loses his family, uh, his job. He basically, I'm not sure how, that of course they're not going to, you know, ruin it for you by telling you on the back. But he loses everything and he ends up moving into the woods and going slowly mad. And it has really good reviews from The Guardian and Variety and New York Times. So we're going to give those a shot and that's all I picked up there. Well, I picked up other stuff, but you know, not fun stuff. And then uh, we went to Target, and we went to Target for, specifically for uh, the Angry Birds movie, which we haven't watched yet. Why do I buy these things? And really, it's Little Dude. If I buy a movie, I'm going to sit and watch that night. Uh, of course, Little Dude would rather paint or draw, or we play board games, so this kind of falls by the wayside, but I know we're going to watch it this weekend. And then I had no idea that The Nice Guys was already out on Blu-ray and DVD. This is the latest movie. I collect Ryan Gosling's movies. And this is the latest one, uh, him and Russell Crowe, our police officers, a hard one and a soft one. The previews looked hilarious. Uh, comedic dynamite. Uh, so I grabbed that. And then the only other little random thing in the bag was this uh, Kevin eraser. Um uh, but that's everything, you guys. Uh, for those of you that say y'all don't mind my long-winded uh, videos, there you go. <laughs> Thanks for watching. I will talk to you guys very, very soon. And little dude is in there laying low, playing with the Legos. So y'all know what I gotta do. Hold on. Okay, of course I had to call him because y'all know it ain't gonna be good if I don't. Are you sleepy? No. Okay. Until my next go around. Thanks you guys for watching. Good night. Good night.